Okay. Hey everyone, sorry about that. Hey, um, I was all mixed up on um, on the Zoom. It was not connecting really clearly. So we've got it and we're good. Just gonna go ahead and get the guys on Facebook really quick. Okay, welcome everybody. Sorry about that. Sorry for a few minutes late. Um, I was having some issues with my computer and Zoom. So we're here now. So let's go ahead and have a seat just for starters. Um, welcome. This is a, a yin vinyasa class. Dogs are certainly welcome. <laughs> um, Please feel free to grab any props that you'd like. You can grab some books, a strap, a blanket. Um, and if you have nothing, that's fine too. Really, I mean, all you need right now is yourself and um, an open mind to see um, kind of where your body's going to drop in tonight. So go ahead, please, and just take an easy seated position. So this is called Sukhasana. We're just going to cross the ankles and if you find that your low back tends to drop back here um, feel free to sit up on something like a folded up towel or um, if you have a pillow that might help and we just want to stay here for a moment and rest the hands on the knees and if you would go ahead and roll the shoulders back a few times and then go ahead and roll them forward a few times So this class is appearing in the evening. So we might be holding some tension in, in the neck and the shoulders um, and even the low back. So we'll start to release some of that. And um, while we move today, let's become really aware of the transitioning. So when we move from one posture to another, um, are we doing that with awareness? Um, are you, you know, aware of getting from point A to point B? I know sometimes um, if you're ever in the car, do you ever notice you're so programmed to going from one place to the other, you kind of don't realize the journey in between. So it can happen on our mats too. And I think the, the attention to the transitioning part is so important. Um, because we're able to connect and to really get a sense of um, how we deal with changes. Um, so, you know, what, what happens on the mat sometimes could be a reflection of things happening off the mat. So let's go ahead um, and move right into our practice. So if you would go ahead and just notice your right ear we're going to drop the right ear over toward the right shoulder so maybe feeling some stretch here along the, the left side of the neck and even take your left arm toward the ground and feel free to rotate the shoulder just moving the shoulder back and forward and then letting the arm hang a little heavier we're going to take the chin and just turn it, nod it down toward the right armpit. So notice where in the body you may be feeling some stretch and you can certainly do little shifts with your neck. You can turn it a little bit up or a little bit back just to get that sweet spot of a stretch. And we'll go ahead and just turn the head forward and gently lift it up and just check in for a moment. Make sure everything feels good out of that. Okay. And then we'll take it over to the other side, feeling some length along the right side of the neck into the shoulder, perhaps. 
can always lower that right arm down and roll the shoulder in and open it. And then just let the hand hang kind of heavy and gently draw the chin toward the left armpit. Go at your own pace. You definitely don't want to push yourself into these positions, but rather read yourself into them and notice any feelings or sensations that tend to come when you're moving from shape to shape. We'll go ahead and turn the head forward and then gently lifting it up. Now, if you would, go ahead and please draw your chin toward your chest without your head hanging forward. So it's as if the chin just drops slightly and we're drawing the back of the neck toward the space behind us. Um, so it's kind of like if you were making yourself have a, a double chin. So the top of the head does not drop. It's just a slight nod. So we're stretching the back of the neck. Take a deep breath into the stretch. And then feel the release completely letting go. And then we'll slowly lift the head up, turn the gaze center. All right, let's go ahead and take the fingers, interlace them please, and press the arms forward. And as you do that, draw the shoulder blades back and down. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Tone the belly, so we're drawing the navel in and lifting it up a bit, keeping the chest broad, even though your shoulders are moving forward. I'm gonna try to keep the shoulders back. They may wanna creep up, and if they do, become aware of that, draw them back, slide them down. So just stay here and take a few nice deep breaths. If this is uncomfortable on your wrists or anything else for that matter, you can untangle your fingers and just reach the fingertips forward. Try to breathe in through the nose tonight, unless you're feeling congested, then um, you breathe however you wish. <laughs> just make sure that breath gets in and out of the body. Go ahead and untangle the fingers, draw the arms out to the sides. So here we're gonna reach the fingers away from one another and then swoop the arms behind you and interlace the fingers, press your knuckles down and just spin the chest up. We'll take a few deep breaths here, really welcoming the space throughout the chest right now, feeling some room in the front shoulders. And then if you would go ahead and untangle the fingers, lift your arms up in the air, big stretch, and then an exhale to fold forward, spider hands. So I'm gonna turn sideways. If you need to look and see what I'm doing, I'm reaching the fingers forward. Now, if your fingers feel like they're really stretching to get to the ground, you can always bring a couple of books underneath your hands, or if you do have a block or blocks, go right ahead. But we're pressing the finger pads into the ground. Try to anchor through your sits bones here. So really root down and from that point, find the stretch. Try to breathe into the back of your body. So here we can soften the chest, draw the navel in, feel the space throughout the rib cage. And we'll go ahead and walk the hands to the knees and then bring your hands behind you, please. So they'll be like kickstands, just pressing in toward the ground. We're gonna lift up the chest a little bit higher. You can actually lean back a little bit, press your fingers in toward the ground let those outer shoulders roll back and the center chest lift up. You wanna resist the urge to drop the head. I'd like you to feel the natural curve of the neck here. 
Try to relax your jaw. And as the space comes, feel free to flatten the hands down if that feels good to you. So this is all about you tonight. This is your practice. Um, I encourage you to um, amp it up if you need to do that, or if you would like to kind of drop into a more restorative flow and connect to that space, go right ahead. We'll release the hands from the floor and bring them back along the knees. A couple more shoulder shrugs. So we're gonna lift the shoulders up to the ears and down. Two more times, lift up and down. And one more, lift up and down. Okay, you guys, let's make a shift and come on to our knees. And we'll bring the wrists right underneath those shoulders. So you're in a bit of a tabletop position. Feel free to comfort your knees with a towel or a blanket if your floor is really hard. Spread your fingers super wide and feel the back body engage. Feel the shoulders on the back of the body. I'm gonna round the back, finding your cat pose. Big exhale here. And an inhale to lift the heart up. Moving through your breath, your toenails can go down to the ground, spread them apart, fan the fingers, really feel some space throughout the body, exhaling as you round, and inhaling as you lift. Notice that space between the inhale and the exhale. Notice the muscles all around your spine starting to stretch. We'll go ahead and do this for two more breaths. And then feel free to bring your spine back into a neutral position so the tail is neither tucked or lifted. And we'll walk the arms ahead of us. So go ahead and stretch the arms forward while you keep the hips over the knees, okay? Feel free to bring your forehead to the floor or a brick. So if you have the brick, the brick can be short, medium, or tall. You'll pick what works best for you. Now feel the shoulders in the back of the body. So we're gonna engage here a little bit. So sense your shoulders. And we're gonna draw them down a little bit, down the back. Take another deep breath. We'll start to walk the hands toward the knees. Move your prop if you have one and then curl your toes. Press back into the balls of your feet, please. And then find yourself lengthening your legs and coming into a forward fold. So the legs are long, but you are folding over your body. Yeah. Look at your toes, try to lift them up. Spread your toes and then press them back down again. So here, if you feel a lot of strain, bringing your hands to the ground, this is when you can lift them up to your shins or set them on your bricks or your books. Pressing into the big toe mound, the little toe mound, the inner and the outer heel. Now we'll go ahead and press your fingers into your shins if they're not already and lengthen the spine. And then exhale, fold, let the body rest. Scooch. Do that two more times, take a deep breath in. Fold on your exhale. Deep breath in. 
and a fold on your exhale. Kind of just shake your head out a few times, just turning the head side to side. And then we'll go ahead and bring our hands to the hips. Feel the feet grounding you, really rooted, and lift up just halfway. So you're just gonna lift halfway, just halfway. And then fold on the exhale. Go ahead, lift up just halfway. Hands on hips. And fold. One more time, hands on hips. And fold. Soften your knees and please walk yourself out into plank. So just a few steps and you'll find yourself in this plank. Feel free to drop the knees tonight, you guys. Listen to your body, get a sense of what you need and just notice yourself in this position. So we're drawing the navel up and in a bit, feel the back body super strong. You can always come to forearms as well. And just notice the whole back body engaged. We're gonna take three deep breaths here. Breathe it in. Let it out. Breathe it in. Let it out. One more breath. Good, and then a subtle shift. We're going to lift up and back, downward dog. So as you transition from plank to down dog, be aware of the movement through your spine, the shoulders. Let's bend the knees a little bit, lift your tailbone up and press your thigh bones back. As you inhale, lengthen through the legs, allow the heels to get heavy. And you can look to the right and look to the left a bit and then just bring your head back to center. Softening through those shoulders, just feel the shoulders in your body. Relaxing through the heart. And then with ease, finding plank again, roll through the spine Come into plank pose, breathe here, and then rolling back, downward dog, settle in through the heels. All right, this time roll yourself into plank, be here, and then just for now, let's lower the knees down and find ourselves coming into Chaturanga. So with that, the elbows are gonna hug the ribs, Hover before you land, and then gently lift up into cobra. Toes flat, lift the heart up. So let's stay here for about three breaths. I'd like you to press the front of your pelvis down toward the ground, drawing the navel up a bit, allowing the ribs to lift. Now, go ahead and just lower the heart down a little bit and see if you can take your hands off of the ground. Notice how that affects your breathing, if any. Maybe you lower down a little bit more. Find the fluid breath again. And then press your hands into the ground and lift the heart up. Breathe, cobra. And your exhale, lower all the way down. Curl your toes, downward dog. Roll up and back, release here, just let it go. So when you're in this downward dog, let it out with a sigh. Deep breath in, out with a sigh. Just letting any stress from the day leave your body. It's had its time there, right? So now it can go, clear you out for a good night's sleep. One more breath. 
And then gently coming back into plank, roll through the spine. Lower the knees if you'd like. If you want to keep the legs straight, go right ahead. Mindful transition, lower down, hover. Let the belly rest. Cobra, lift the heart. And exhale all the way down. Curl the toes, downward dog. Up and back. Three breaths here, you guys. Feel your foundation. Ground yourself. Root yourself. Know you are always supported. Okay, let's go ahead and find ourselves lifting the right leg up behind you. We're going to lift it about hip height first. Get yourself balanced as best as you can. So when we lift a leg up in the air, that may throw ourselves out of balance, but it makes our core work harder. So we engage the belly, feel the back of the body super strong. And then on your next exhale, please draw your knee in toward your nose and round the back. And then press back, inhale. Now we'll bring the knee to the outer elbow. Press back. And with ease, we'll bring the knee to the opposite elbow. A little bit of a twist. And press back. Now we're going to bring the knee into the nose and place your foot right between your thumbs. Anchor it there. Scooch it up if you need to. And then please lower the back knee. Inhale, hands to hips. Lift the heart up. Take a deep breath. Take a breath of fresh air up here. <laughs> Just feel the navel draw in, the rib cage open, and broadening to the collarbone. Arms can float up. And an exhale, let's take a twist. Left arm down, right arm up, or you can keep your right knuckles to the low back. Take a deep breath. So those bottom ribs lifting up. There you go. On your exhale, come around, frame your front foot, lift your back knee up, downward dog, step it back. Ride your breath here. And on your next exhale, let's go ahead and bring the knee into the nose. Round your back when it gets there. Press back, inhale. Knee to the left elbow. Press back. And your knee to the opposite elbow. A little bit of a twist. And press back. Lengthen your leg. And on your exhale, go ahead, knee to nose, foot between your thumbs, anchor it, lower the back knee, find your stability, and inhale, lift the heart up, hands to hips. Nice deep breath. Feel free to lift the arms up. Slide those shoulders down, breathe it out. And an exhale to twist, right arm down, left knuckles behind you on sacrum, or feel free to lift that left arm up, your choice. Another deep breath here. And your exhale, turn around, frame your foot, curl the back toes, lift the knee, downward dog, up and back. Nice deep breath. Feel your space. Feel yourself grounded. And with ease, you guys, go ahead and roll through the spine, finding plank. Lower down all the way. Feel free to drop the knees if you'd like. Chaturanga, hover. Let the belly rest. Cobra, lift the heart up. and release downward dog all the way up and back. All right, 
Reset your fingers if they moved. Check your feet out. With ease, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and take this right leg way up in the air behind you. Open your hip, take your foot over. And then feel your center. We're drawing the right knee to the outside of the right elbow. Hover. And press back. Two more. Knee to the outside of the right elbow. And press back. One more. Knee to the outside. And press back. Now we'll go ahead and bring the knee to the outside of the elbow and put your foot to the outside of the right hand. So right on the outside of your pinky finger. So you've got a wider stance here. Your legs are more like on railroad tracks. Breathe here. So feel free to keep the back leg straight or lower the back knee down for lizard and drop in. What do you need? You can stay upright here, pressing your fingers into the ground and allow your chest to stay super broad. Or if you find that you'd like to walk your hands a little bit further ahead of you and fold into this, you go right ahead. Breathe into the space wherever you are. Make this your own. Fluid breaths. If you notice the breath getting choppy or rigid, reset yourself. Tune in to what you need. All right, with ease, let's go ahead and take this right leg back, downward dog. Soften the chest. And on your next breath, we'll bring this left knee to the outside of the left elbow. Hover, press back, inhale. Two more. Knee to outer elbow, press back. One more. Knee to the outer elbow, and press back. Steady yourself. Knee to the outer elbow, and then we'll bring the foot to the outside of that left hand alongside the pinky. Notice if this side feels different. So before you change anything up here, just get a sense of the space in the hip. Noticing if you're feeling like you need to lower the back knee or if you're okay with keeping that leg straight. Staying more upright or folding a little deeper into this. Your choice. Keep the breath smooth and steady. Feel the energy moving from the base of your pelvis all the way up to the top of your spine. Another deep breath. Chow in the belly, draw the navel in a bit, and we'll take that left leg back behind you, downward dog. Well done. Breathe it out. And then gently, if you would, go ahead and roll through the spine, plank pose, lower down, chaturanga, Hover, rest the belly, cobra, three breaths here, just feel the space. And then on your next exhale, lower all the way down and bring your arms alongside your body. Inhale, lifting up in locust, breathe. So the fingers can reach down toward the outer ankles, moving in that direction. 
Hearts lifted. And an exhale, releasing to the right side of your face. Just drop in for a moment. And with the next breath, nose to the mat, inhale, find your lift. Feel the breath carrying you up. Relaxing down to the left side of your face. And one more time, nose to the mat. Feel free to interlace your fingers behind you. Finding your lift. Your toes can come off of the ground if they wish to do that. Smooth the breath. Untangle your fingers and then please bring your hands under your forehead and settle in here for a moment. Just notice any sensations throughout the body here. Notice how the energy starts to settle when you get quiet. Then we'll go ahead and slide the hands next to the rib cage, curl the toes up and back, downward dog. Now let's bend the knees here a little bit. As you bend your knees, feel your sits bones drawing apart, feel a broadening to the low back. And then start to straighten your legs. Another deep breath here. All right, let's go ahead and lift the right leg up in the air. Swoop your right foot in between your thumbs. Anchor it. And we're going to lower the back knee down. With your next inhale, please bring your hands to your hips. Lift the heart up. Arms can float up and then connect the palms, but draw the thumbs to the nape of the neck. Nice stretch on the triceps. Feel the elbows lifting up. The forearms just caress the side of your skull. Another deep breath here. We'll bring the arms all the way up and then swoop them behind you, interlace the fingers, lift the heart up, and a gentle fold to the inside of the front leg. Release your fingers, swoop the arms up, big breath. And then exhale, frame your foot, take it back, downward dog. Nice deep breath here. Notice your feet. Take a look at them. See if they've shuffled apart. Keep about six, six inches apart maybe. Notice your ankles in line with the front inner hip. And then let's go ahead and take this left leg up in the air. Deep breath. And then exhale to swoop your foot right between your thumbs. Anchor it. You can always lower your bottom knee, your back knee. Bring the hands to the hips. Big lift here in the chest. Arms can float up. And again, connect the palms and we'll draw the thumbs right to the nape of the neck. Here, try, try to send the breath throughout the base of the spine all the way up and avoid any compression 
Think of the spine as lifting up and finding a bend. Arms float up. Feel free to look up, slide those shoulder blades down. And then if you would swoop the arms back, interlace your fingers, press the knuckles back, and we're gonna fold right into the inside of your front leg. Then we can reach the knuckles up toward the sky. And you can do any of these lunges with your back knee lifted. I'm just keeping it down for this practice. You do what you need to do. Take care of your body. Listen. And notice what you hear. Body may want to do something different one day than the previous day. Inhale, I'll come on up. Untangle the fingers, arms come up, big stretch, and fold, let it out, downward dog, all the way back. Okay, let's go through a vinyasa. If you'd like, if you don't want to do a vinyasa, you don't have to. You can stay here or come into child's pose. If you do choose, it's a plank. Lower down, hover. Inhale, lift the heart, cobra. And your exhale, carrying you into dog again. But we'll be here for three breaths. So if you do want to change it up, Come on into child's pose. Another breath. There you go. And then we can all come into child's pose. The knees come down, they're apart, and your big toes are together. Let's go ahead and bring the hands, though, around your outer ankles or you can rest them on the floor, letting your forehead drop slowly and noticing the round, in, the round of your back. So notice the spine here and what part of the spine is actually rounding and what parts may seem a little bit more flat. So it's all good, just notice. Notice the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. I'm just gonna turn inward for a moment and take a few deep breaths. Really allowing the ground to support you here. Let the body drop in. All of your stresses, any worries, any concerns. Just let it melt away for a moment. Be really present in this body of yours right now. Feel your heart beating. The breath moving in and out. Totally present. All right, let's go ahead and just lift the head lightly. We're gonna walk the hands ahead of the body. I'm gonna come into a variation of a side plank. So with this, let's go ahead and bring the left knee to the ground if it's not already. And we'll just slide this right leg back behind you. So just notice what this is like. Notice if this does anything to your balance. And then we'll go ahead and turn this left foot into a kickstand. So you're gonna angle the foot, you're gonna take it behind you, and then press into the left hand. The left hand can come right underneath the shoulder. You're gonna slowly start to open your body up and feel free then to take your right arm up in the air. So we're kneeling here. Now, if the floor seems really far away from your left hand, take a break or a book. 
We just want to try to keep some space open and free in the chest. You can always bring your top hand to the low back. When you press into the sacrum, the low back area, notice how that may help spin your chest up. You always have the option of lifting your right leg as well. So just check it out. Another breath. And then we'll lower the foot, windmill the top arm around. Find yourself in kneeling and ease back into child's pose. So we're just gathering the breath here, gathering your energy. And now lifting up, shifting the body weight forward, switching sides. So now your right hand will be on the ground or a prop. And you can keep your right knee on the ground. We're gonna turn this right foot out back. So you're just gonna angle it so it kicks out like a kickstand. And we'll take that left leg out to the side. With or without your brick, what do you need here? We want a strong foundation. So bringing your bottom hand to a brick helps take it. Your left hand can come to the low back for support if you'd like, or feel free to take that arm up. Now just breathe really deep. Let the breath flood your body. Breathe into all the space that you have. Feel the vibrancy through the fingers, through the toes, awaken to your energy. Another breath here. And then we'll lower the left foot, windmill the left arm around, child's pose, ease yourself back. Please bring your forehead to the ground, or if it doesn't reach, make fists and just place your forehead on your fists. Let the energy settle. And then if you would, let's go ahead and bring the hands to the knees and roll the torso all the way up, rolling the shoulders back. And take a breath. Okay, you guys. Let's go ahead and make a shift here. We're gonna go ahead and just turn our bodies around and straighten the legs out in front. Find your sits bones. Let's anchor fully in the sits bones here. Notice your legs. When you press your legs down, do you find a lot of space under your knees? or do you find space under your thigh bones? Okay, if you do, something wrong with that. Okay, I just want you to check it out. So try not to overly press the legs down when we're gonna fold. Relax the knees a little bit, okay? Still energizing the legs, feeling the muscles around the leg bones engaged, but not so much that everything gets tense. All right, from here, if you have a strap, you're more than welcome to wrap it around your feet, but you don't need one. We can take the arms up, slide the shoulders down, flex your feet, and then find a fold. So let's just go ahead and lean forward a little bit. Maybe a little bit more and stay here and then goal post the arms. So we're gonna press those forearms back as we goal post. Notice what that did to your spine. So a nice straight spine, lifted chest. And from here, seeing what fold comes. So as you lean forward, it's as if your, your heart, center of your chest is drawn forward. Front body is broad. And then inhale, take the arms up, lift the chest up. And on your exhale, find your fold again, straight arms. Maybe the hands land on your thighs. Maybe they land on your shins or your feet. 
Just notice where they go. You can even take your hands out to the side. A few nice smooth breaths here. And then slowly lift the torso back up again. And we're gonna draw the heels in towards your body and allow the knees to bend. So now let's take the arms behind you, lift the chest up. Another deep breath. And when you're ready, exhale, fold forward with knees bent and wrap your arms behind the thighs. Just give yourself a hug here. Feel the back round. Space between the vertebrae open. And if you feel like you're getting a little bit of space in the spine and in the back, the low back, feel free to slide your heels away from you. Melting down a little bit more, maybe. A few more deep breaths. If your head and neck need support, you can always rest your elbows on your thighs and place your jaw in your hands. Round through your sits bones. Using the inhale, start to lift through the spine, nice and tall, shoulders roll back and down. All right, let's go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together now. So we don't have to draw the heels all the way in toward the legs for tonight. I want you to kind of just drop into Baddha Konasana um, with ease. So notice if the feet can come together, that's, that's fine. Um, they don't need to. Maybe just the pinky edges of each foot come toward one another. And we can bring the hands behind us first. So again, you know, getting out of that folding forward with the shoulders so much, rather let's lift up with the heart, broaden through the chest before we take a fold. Relax your jaw here. I just started to grip my teeth. So <laughs> if I'm doing that, maybe, maybe someone else is. So just relax the teeth, relax the jaw, find some space between the shoulders and the ears. And then go ahead now and start to walk the hands around the shins or the ankles or the toes and find your drape. So just allow the body to drop in. You can kind of move side to side. Just nestle yourself into the shape. If you do need that head and neck support, Feel free to bring your elbows to your calves or your thighs and just use your hands as support for your head. Avoid pressing into those knees though. The knees will open when the body um, relaxes. You know, if we press on the knees, that's more of a force. Um, we want to breathe our way into this stretch so we don't get agitated. Mm 
We're going to stay here for about a minute. So dropping in and then just turning inward. Coming back to a little reflection. Maybe thinking about your day how it went. How did you show up? Maybe even using this time to set an intention for how you'd like to show up tomorrow. We're always, we're always showing up. So if we think about how we'd like to show up, we put that idea into our body and sit with that, sleep with it, give a sense. Maybe, maybe the intention would be, um, you know, I just want to be the, the best person I can possibly be. But allowing a message to come in like planting a seed and having a flower grow. So good question. How would you like to show up tomorrow? Keep listening to your breath. Don't forget about it. The breath will breathe you. So let's use this time to pay attention to it. Relax through the hips. Relax through the low back. Allow your body to really just settle into the ground. You know, using your next breath, you can use your hands to press into the ground and then roll through the spine and lift the chest up. Okay, let's go ahead and bring the knees toward one another. And we're going to take a, a little bit of a twist here. So feel free to straighten your right leg forward and we can take the left foot and just slide it to the inside of your right thigh. Now, if this causes any discomfort in your left knee, you can slide your foot down toward the lower part of your leg. Okay, that'll make, give you some space behind this left knee. All right, so take care of yourself. We're gonna flex the foot and keep this right leg down on the ground. All right, right arm comes up, find the stretch in the side of your body, big inhale, and then exhale, turn towards your left, wrap your arm around your left leg and feel the rotation in the spine. So we can keep the chin in line with the chest, feel the spine working, feel the twisting of the spine, the neck will move. We don't need to rush that. And then slowly start to use your breath to maybe deepen the twist. Using the back hand, like that kickstand, lifting the spine, keeping it nice and straight. These twists are really, really nice in the morning and in the afternoon and the evening, just to reset the spine, kind of giving the internal organs a massage Slow and steady here. Noticing what happens when you are 
fully present. And then gently bringing your body back to center. We'll take this left leg down to the ground and bring your hands alongside the hips for a moment. Just notice, notice your right hip, your left hip, notice the low back. So we're not rushing to get into the next side. All right, and when you're ready, we'll slowly start to bend the right knee now and the left leg is straight. We prop ourselves up. Left arm lifts. So here, side body stretch, nice and long, space under the ribs. And then your exhale will wrap this left arm around and start to twist. So if, if you have a different way of twisting that you really like, maybe you hook your elbow to the outer thigh, go ahead and do that. Again, make this your own practice. Just try to be really present to the moments, right? Dropping into each moment. And if the mind starts to wander, if we're on our to-do list or if we're onto, you know, the next thing, we've lost it. We've lost the moment. Pay attention to your breath as it moves through the spine. It's bringing subtle energy through the base of your spine, the middle, and the upper. Where do you feel the rotation? Where do you feel the twist? And with ease, let's go ahead and bring ourselves back to center. No hurry. Straighten the right leg. You can bring your hands behind you a bit. If you'd like to, let's come on to forearms. So you can keep your hands back there with straight arms. Um, if you're feeling okay with this, you can lower down to your forearms and just press the palms into the floor. And really use your forearms and your elbows to lift the chest a little bit more. Resist the urge to let your head totally drop back with weight. The chin can lift, but try to keep the, um, keep the curve of your neck. Can you visualize that? A few deep breaths here. And then if you would go ahead and start to lower all the way down to the ground. So you're gonna let your spine rest all the way to the floor. You can bring your hands to your belly. Take a deep breath. And then with this left leg on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and bring the right knee in toward the chest. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this right leg straight up. So here, if you need to take your strap or a towel, um, anything you have, a t-shirt, and wrap it around the bottom of your foot, please do so. If you don't have anything to wrap, that's fine. Keep your hands behind your thighs, your thigh, or behind your calf. If this is a bit much, if you feel some intensity going on, especially with that left hip flexor area, the top of the thigh, 
then bend your left knee. Notice when I just did that, I noticed my right leg came in closer to my body. So remembering where you practiced yesterday or last week, you may be in a very different place right now. So it's always a good idea to just tune in and not assume. Notice the weight in your low back. And then gently bend your right knee, lower your foot to the floor, and we'll take the left leg up. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Left leg comes up. Feel free to straighten the right leg. The left leg is up. And just notice here the low back dropping in. Maybe the side feels a little bit different. This is a really nice stretch to do in the morning. When you first wake up, it's a really nice stretch if your back is a little tight. And then we'll gently bend this left knee and lower your foot to the floor. So we're gonna keep the feet pressed into the floor with the knees bent. And on your next breath, take the arms up overhead, find a stretch, reaching the fingers back behind you. And then slowly start to lift the arms all the way up and then rest the hands down to the ground next to your hips. We're gonna press into the hands and the bottoms of the feet and just do a very, very gentle bridge pose. So we're gonna peel one at a time. We're gonna peel the tailbone off and the vertebra that follow, just lifting up, maybe just lifting halfway for now. Or if you prefer to lift all the way up, go right ahead. And you can even take those arms up and back, reaching behind you again. If you're using a brick tonight or books, you can always stack those underneath your sacrum. And just noticing here the space throughout the whole front body, space around the upper thighs, Top of the legs. We'll stay here for just a few more breaths. We'll go ahead and bring the arms all the way up and the palms all the way down. Lower down one vertebra at a time. Feel the low back dropping in. And then just gently rock the knees side to side a bit. And we'll take those knees all the way over to your right side. Feel free to stack them. Now, if you find any discomfort here, you can certainly place a pillow in between your knees. We're gonna bring some weight into the shoulders. Your arms can rest on your rib cage or feel free to take them overhead again. Just noticing the space throughout your spine. Take a nice deep breath in, settling in. And 
And then we'll go ahead and bring the knees up to center and float them over to the left side. Bringing some weight into the shoulders, especially noticing weight in that right shoulder. Relax to the jaw, relax to the neck, the shoulders. And the exhale, leave with a sigh. We'll go ahead and bring the knees back up to center. And then if you would, just go ahead and lengthen the legs to the floor. We'll come into our Shavasana, so the final pose of our practice. Legs are straight, toes and the ankles can roll out to the side. Feel free to take your arms down, the palms can face up. If you need anything, please gather what you need. Maybe it's a blanket lying over your belly, maybe a pillow for your head. Allow your eyes to soften. Relax your jaw. Feel the weight of your exhale. Leaving the body. Allow the ground to absorb any stress that you're carrying. Breathing in a new energy. Allowing your body to fill up with that. Relaxing through the legs and the ankles and the toes. Feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish, as long as your body needs. If you would like to end your practice, just gently move your fingers and your toes, roll through your wrists and your ankles. And find yourself rolling over onto your right side. Use your right arm to support your head. We'll take a breath. And we'll go ahead and press ourselves up into a seated position, just as we started today. Bring the hands together and move the thumbs right into the heart center. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much, you guys. So good to practice with you. Take care. Be well. And I hope you sleep well, too. Have a good evening. I will see you next week. Thank you.